Hey guys, this is Poet Spice, Jamie Lola Tallulah, and I am here to do a haul video because I just got in stuff from Amazon, woo, eBay, woo, and the HSN Crafty Day, boom, 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 ba -dum, which was funny because I had ordered stuff early, um, and I was like, I don't think there's anything else except for one, one set of things, and then I ended up buying more stuff, so... Yeah, that was not good. And then I got some stuff on eBay and Amazon. So let me start with that. Now, this one, I don't know if I showed before, but I got this one. This was HSN. And I got the Laird Carnation, and it came with a stamp set. And so I just cut these out. Now, I cut them out and put them together flat. I did not do any shaping or stamping. So this is just different layers. I thought it would be fun to like see what it looked like. So some have all the sizes in them. And I like that it puts in the little lines for you. It embosses the lines. So you can just see how that. So I did a few of those. Because I just wanted to see what the dye looked like. Booyah, booyah. Love it. Ba -boom. And any creative expression dye I buy is totally scrapping for my boy's fault. <laughs> I always like blaming her. Hi, girly girl, if you're watching. <laughs> okay. Then I got in some Karen Berniston stuff. I got in a couple things from her new release. And... <laughs> few things from a previous one so she had this woven basket card and it is adorable now I mean you can make one of these pop-up cards without having the die so here's what the die looks like and has all your extra pieces and so forth but I like this woven piece thing going on here and it is so cute so I did make one of those because I couldn't help it make it <laughs> so it'll go flat and like I said, these are one of those cards you, you can you don't need a die for. Like you probably would want to die for the weaving part, but just a pop up card like this, you don't need it. But it was too cute. So goes flat to mail, pops up, and I like how the bars are done in this one. She has them so that you put them underneath. I don't know if you can see inside very well. She has them put. So when you push them in, you're actually pushing them underneath the weaving, which makes it so much easier than some other card dies I've seen. And definitely easier than trying to do it yourself. So I love that. And then all these pieces here are from the die. And then the center pieces here are actually Nouveau drops. What? Okay, so there's that one. Love it. Um, let me do this one. I know I showed this one before. It was the house die by Karen Burnison, but I made a card, so I thought I'd go ahead and show it in here. So, this is some DCWV paper. And then look, ah, don't you love it? So, I was like, oop, close it, close it. Oop, love it. Oop, love it. Oop, love it. And I used some Spectrum Noir glitter paper and Mary card. So I thought that was fabulous. So love this die. I have noticed that I do like the pop-up cards from her that actually well, you can stand the card up and they open this way versus the ones that go this way um, because nobody like leaves their card open like that but lots of people stand their card up this way so I love that but I show you that then I got this one I know I showed this one before but it was in the stack and then I got this one this one's the little one I love and I'm trying to do this one next um, it is a photo collage pop-up so you put it in and it like pops up and twists open so not your twist and pop card but kind of like the same idea and then I got this one this one is fabulous is their tag pop-up die and I might get the circle one but I absolutely love this one so it's like that I got this one and I went to town I made like four of these and then I put two more in a memory book so I made six of these um, so here's the card and these are all the pieces there. And what I did for this, it looks like a little frame, is they give you these little tab pieces. And so I had two left over. And then these are the insides of some of the dies. So I just thought it would look cute like a picture frame. 
the paper and the little thing here are actually from the kit 13 from crafters companion and i decided i do not like the flower foams uh, the foaming flower so i probably will never use that just the paper so when it opens up it's like that how cool is that so somebody asked me what's the difference between this and a, a twist and pop or like how it pops out it's not a twist and pop because it doesn't twist it just pops up so when you open it boom the whole inside pops up <laughs> how is that how cool so love this die this one i'm obsessed with like i said i made it six times already Okay, now for, um, let's do, some of that was eBay and some of that was Amazon. So let's do the other Amazon. I have been looking at this guy for a while. And I was like, nah, I'm not buying it. No, I'm not buying it. And then, of course, yesterday, or a couple days ago, I went crazy and I bought a bunch of the stuff that goes with it. So this is the Lawn Fawn Real Reveal Wheel and i thought it was cool before and so i finally decided to get it and then i split my order between amazon and doodlebug wa so my doodlebug wa part is supposed to show up tomorrow um because they had better prices on certain things and ebay i mean not ebay but amazon had others so what i did get on them with amazon for this is the uh what is this one called the holiday sentiments so y'all know I love my Christmas. So it's got Christmas and Kwanzaa, New Year, Holiday, Hanukkah, which I love that they have Hanukkah on there. I mean, even though I don't know, well, I do know some Jewish people, but I don't know, like, I don't have, like, friends, friends that I know that are Jewish in town. So, but I do like to have one of those and just in case. Um, so that's like that. I love that. Woohoo! All that. And then they had this one. And so I bought the actual die set that goes with this. And I don't do a lot of Halloween, so I don't have a lot. But I love this. And they have the little uh, pumpkin. I don't know what you want to call this. Like the peekaboo part. So I got that too. So that'll be in my next haul. But I just absolutely love that. That's so cute. And so I got the die set too. You know I didn't buy a stamp without a die. All right, now let's do HSN Crafty Day. Let's start with, since we just did Halloween, let's start with the Anna Griffin. So, like I just said, I don't do Halloween a lot. And so, I don't buy very much Halloween. But this was so cool. Um, so, I bought the Anna Griffin Wicked Witchy Card Making Kit. So, you know, it always comes in this bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Her little stack so let me show you you get your foam adhesive you get a little inspiration card and I think I'm going to cut these out and just use them on like in my journal or something because those are cute you got your sentiments that are already layered up and I like this one like if the broom fits write it if you got it haunted and all my friends are witches what's up my witches so I like that you're my favorite boo <laughs> so you know i love a good pun and a bad one then they give you some card layers and then they give you the bigger cards so here's their actual card base All right and so then they give you the layers that you can put on now y'all know me this will probably i'll probably make like one actual card from this and then everything else will just be in all kinds of other things and show up then they give you your envelopes of course but this was the best part they give you these paper dolls and i was like this is so funny so you get your paper you get a variety of paper dolls and they have different outfits so you've got this one you can layer it up and give her this outfit and they give you a few and then you've got this one All right and they give you some extra little bits and bulbs ah! I love it I was like this is funny and then of course you put that on there because see I bought their other one that was paper dolls have I made it yet no so freaking funny I love these all my girls are witches <laughs> I love that that is so cool
And so they got the twins here. I love that. I love it. And then they give you some of these. And I think that's the last sheet. Yeah. So I I had I kept debating. Yes, no, yes, no. And then on the actual craft day, I went ahead and bought it. So I was like, oh, I'll be mad if I don't get it. Even if I don't use it for two years. Because, <laughs> you know, some Anna Griffin stuff she brings back. But a lot of stuff she doesn't. Okay, so this has turned into a chit-chat video as well as a whole. So let me put all that back. Because if I don't put it back, it'll be messed up. So there's the Anna. Okay. Next. Moving on. I am not a coffee drinker. I drink tea. But this was a cute little set. And I know a bunch of my crafty friends do like coffee. So I don't buy a whole lot of coffee themed stuff either. But um, what you call it had this. This is Diamond Press. So they have your little um, your little folders or whatever for the Diamond Press. And then you have these dies. And I just like them because of the size. They were so cute. And so you have this big script for coffee. Um, I can't read that backwards. A hello you and something something so they have these and then here's the stamp so they have your coffee stain coffee and friends make the perfect blend your little beans and i just like the size of the drinks so this could be one of them frappuccinos or any drink a lemonade whatever your cup could be mug or you know tea or coffee and this how you bean <laughs> y'all know i love a pun and then here's this part so you've got the cup, this one, the little frappuccino type, whatever they call them. Happiness. It's a cup of tea shared with a friend. Love you more than chocolate. <laughs> All I need is tea. So I loved how the, these were. And what I liked even better about this one is a lot of times... Um, uh, Diamond Press will do dies, but they don't do a die for every single one. And this time they did. So they did a die for the cup, one for this and one for this. They did a circle. So you have these three things that will come out. They did the croissant, this cup, and that one. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll like, oh, I'll do this cup and this cup. And then, you know, so I was pleased with they had all that. Okay, moving on because my video is getting so long. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so the next thing is um crafter's companion and <clears throat> had this set of adorables and i think this is different from the other set it comes with a paper pad of little scenes that work and of course you don't have to use it with this but then it had three stamp and die sets of this little girl, they had a boy set, but I didn't get the boy set. Of this little girl with her little geese and birthday and all this kind of stuff. And then a little die that match. And it had, came with this one. And I loved this one. I don't know, it just spoke to me. And she kind of reminded me of Hobbit, Holly Hobby, even though it's not. And then they had this one. And I really liked the dog. So cute. So that was one set. Then they had this set. And this one I need to go and can't. This was an auto ship. Um, and I need to cancel the rest of this because I only wanted the first one. Okay, so this one came with stamps and dies. So you have this layering stamp. Look at this butterfly. Now, I know I said I get tired of their butterflies, but this is a detailed butterfly. So it's just one of like, meh, meh. And so I love how it comes out. It's got your three layers to stamp it. And then you've got your sentiments here. And it came with a die to cut it out. Of course it did. Then this set also came with this little wreath, which wasn't my favorite thing, but I thought it was a cute idea. So it could be cute too. So you have four layers of this one to stamp and layer up, and it came with the wreath die. Yay! So that was fabulous. Um, what else did I get? This is Diamond Press, and I got these because I thought these were nice. This be interesting to use. I'm going to sort of rip this package up because I'm going to have to put it something else anyway. So, you have one of these. Does anybody have a diamond press? Because I keep collecting these because I don't have one. And uh, <clears throat> I might send those to somebody because I don't use those folders. They just sit around. So, you have, it has two borders. 
and you take these and you put them inside and you cut the words. So they had a, a variety of things. So this one says thinking of you. Um, let me see if I can turn it this way. Okay, this one says happy birthday. I think this says just a note, thank you. And I think hello friend. And so you can just put them inside and have different borders. Always good to have sentiments. Now I believe this is the last thing. Yes. I wanted the tropical set from Crafter's Companion. And that was the one thing I was waiting on. Like I said, the one thing I was waiting on for craft day, the actual craft day, because they didn't release it so that they didn't sell out before the show. So they had a big, a huge one, which was $199. And I was like, yeah, we're not doing that. Now, don't get me wrong. I have paid, you know, gotten somewhere they were like $150 and all that kind of stuff. But I wasn't that into this tropical one to buy every single piece. But I did buy the starter kit. And it came with a lot, which was plenty for me. So it had this pad. And this pad is what I wanted the most. And it was weird because they didn't sell it separately. Okay, guys, I'm sorry that this video is getting long. But I figured, I don't know. You guys could tell me in the comments below. I don't know. Do you like haul videos to see them often or do you prefer a longer video? Right. Oh, no. This round, it just was easier for me to do a longer one. Okay, so love this paper, love the colors. I wanted the 12 by 12, but I was like ordering too much stuff, so I didn't get the 12 by 12. And it'll probably be on sale later on anyway. So look at that, is that not pretty? Look at that. And it's so bright, and I don't wanna say tropical, but it's like bright and fresh. So, even though I have issues with some of their products, I usually like their paper. And I definitely like their Miri and glitter paper. But look at that. Isn't it so cute? I love that. So you get the 6x6 six six pad. What else did you get with it? You got two embossing folders. And I liked the embossing folders. So you get this swirly one. And it's the 3D embossing folders. All right? And then this one was fabulous. I've seen several, you know, like tropical leaf, one, leaf ones but this was I love this and I like how you had this prominent one here I loved it loved it so I was like yeah that's what I want then they had dies of course you know always have dies but let's look at the stamps they had stamps 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 so you had this flamingo stamp and I like once again that it's front and back so you could do either side and the little bird the little toucan a little little flowers your hibiscus and everything so that was cute and then they had sentiment so life's a beach embracing your inner flamingo which is funny uh have a beautiful day how be how beautiful a day can be when friendship touches it today is a good day to smile so love that so came with those two sets of stamps you had this border so this border die is one of the edibles you have this one, which has your little flowers and leaves, and then your frame. So this will be fun. This will be fun to do a triptych on your card. And then, of course, it has the flamingo die. And I believe it does cut out this. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. I was going to say, let's see. Oh, I don't, yeah, the head's different. So, no, it doesn't cut out that. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, but I do like the fact that they face two different ways and they have two different leg shapes, which was like the other guy I got. And then they have this big hibiscus. Excuse me, my allergies are acting up again. So, that I loved, and I like how big it is. Oh! So that is my collective combined lovely haul from eBay, Amazon, and HSN. <laughs>
<laughs> so funny. Anyway, I shall see you guys later. If there's something you want to see a demo of, let me know. And I can do that at some point. Um, hopefully I can do it before that school thing starts. I can't believe summer's almost over. That's killing me inside. Killing me inside. Um, stay tuned because we will have a new collab starting on the first. Well, the first video is up on the first. And there you go. I hope you guys are having a good day. And I shall see you later. Bye.